kids looking forward to the weekend. A lot of big kids looking forward to yeah. the weekend. A lot of that stuff happens on Saturday. So mm -hmm. Easter egg hunts are planned for Saturday morning so that Sunday morning there's Eastery stuff to do mm -hmm. that, you know, doesn't involve hunting for chocolate. chicken products yeah. or chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> but chicken. tomorrow morning? It's usually chocolate in my house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's going to be kind of a washout tomorrow morning. So indoor alternative for those kind of ah. events. going to be the best idea with the next rainmaker on the way. Overall, very positive thing because we definitely still need the rain. That storm system getting its act together at this point. Let's take a look at the big picture perspective. It's that little area, little ripple of low pressure in the atmosphere off to our west and southwest is kind of spinning around the parent storm system. It's still anchored off the Pacific Northwest. This is going to approach us more directly than the past several storm systems, which means it's a much better chance of some heavier rain. Not enough to cause problems other than just some deeper puddles on the roads, but you're going to notice some heavy rain out there early tomorrow morning. For now, it's all up to our north. Let's track it as it gets closer. A couple sprinkles north of the Golden Gate possible this evening. They're going to be very few and far between. Even by midnight, most of the rain is still offshore. That changes as we head towards about 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. This is light to moderate rainfall, which becomes moderate to heavy rainfall by 5 o'clock in the morning, and that is going to push quick quickly inland. It's not going to last real long. The window for rain is about 3 a.m. to roughly 10 a.m., but the bulk of the heavier rain is going to be out of here already as we head towards about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Some lingering showers possible the rest of the morning, maybe even a couple sprinkles during the afternoon, but the afternoon continues to progress in a drier and drier direction, and then we should be dry by Saturday evening and dry for the second half of Easter weekend. Let's add up the rain for the North Bay first. We're looking at amounts anywhere from a half an inch to closer to an inch of rain in the higher elevations of the North Bay. Some of the lower amounts are going to be in the rain shadow of the Santa Cruz Mountains. No, no surprise there. Barely more than a tenth of an inch of rain for San Jose, but that's more than the past several systems with a little bit more falling in the Santa Cruz Mountains. This is not the last rain chance. We have more on the way. The next one heads in Monday night into Tuesday. That looks pretty light, even for the North Bay. A longer stretch of rainy weather settles in Wednesday night, continuing Thursday and maybe even into Friday. And after that, the forecast dries out again for a while. Looking outside, hey, any outdoor plans this evening? Go ahead. It's nice out there. Just a bit cool near the water. Low to mid-50s in San Francisco and Oakland. More clouds over the North Bay, so only mid-50s in Santa Rosa with low to mid-60s for other inland parts of the Bay Area. We'll drop down into the mid to upper 40s to around 50 degrees tonight. Not falling any farther than that because of that blanket of clouds is going to be squeezing out a lot of rain on us. So an early morning dog walk, not the best idea here for Charlie Watts. It's supposed to be all one word but we had to separate it so it fits on the dog tag. In San Leandro, we're going to start off with temperatures in the 50s, and they're only going to warm up to around 60 degrees on the east side of the bay. But better dog walking weather during the afternoon once the sunshine breaks through. Temperatures are going to reach up to just above 60 degrees for the east bay, farther into the 60s as you head farther inland with the warm spots around 70 degrees. Temperatures are going to warm up just a couple of degrees for Easter Sunday. We're going to see the next chance of rain heading in Monday night and Tuesday, then the next chance of rain Wednesday night into Thursday and Friday, and that's going to be the same case for all of the Bay Area, another more evenly distributed chance of rain late next week, maybe even into Friday. That's kind of the wild card in the long-range forecast at this point. Here we go, April showers. Exactly, yeah. bringing a low fire threat in May. It doesn't uh, rhyme. May flowers. No, but it's, it's <laughs> yeah. very effective, though. Exactly. Yeah. Thank Appreciate you. It.